from the diary of my grandma Fanny, August 29th, 1942. Today I bought window blinds for the living room. The men are working in the field, so I'm going to have them for supper tonight. Hello and welcome to Crock-Pot Wednesday. And today's Crock-Pot Wednesday meal is going to be something really quick and something really easy, but it's going to be something really delicious. So let's get started and I'll show you what we're making today. What we're going to make today is Crock-Pot ham and pineapples. And I'm still on my no spend. I'm still trying to find things in my freezers and in the pantries to use up because we really aren't spending much money. And I received this. It's 99 cents a pound and it was only $1.54. I did not buy this. My friend Susan gave it to me and we're going to use this today. So it is frozen. We're just going to throw all this ham into the crock pot. And then I found one can of crushed tomatoes and we're going to put that in the crock pot as well. We have our ham and we have our pineapples in here. And the neat thing about this is ham is really good if you let it in the crock pot for a long period of time. So we're going to have this on about 225 and we're going to have this set for about five hours. What are we going to make with it? I have these potatoes. As you can see, they are starting to really sprout. And I'm going to go ahead and peel these and we're going to make mashed potatoes. Somebody asked me, they thought that when a potato sprouts, you can no longer eat it. Potato is fine. You can eat a potato when it's sprouted. What do you want to look for in a potato that you shouldn't be eating? So, as you see, this potato has some green on it. You don't want to eat any of the green. So what you do is you want to make sure you peel it. The green in large quantities can become toxic, but this potato is fine. You just wouldn't want to eat the peeling. So the sprouting of the potato is fine. A green potato is not so fine. A green potato is caused by sunlight. And sunlight, if you have potatoes in the sun long enough, they will turn green. And then that is not the best for you. So there's a little bit of potatoes information. I'm going to go ahead and peel all these. We are going to mash them. This potato, as you see, I had got out of the garden and I nicked it, but it's fine. There's not a thing wrong with it. You just peel it away. So many times people see a blemish on a fruit or a vegetable and they think they can't eat it. There's nothing wrong with blemishes on vegetables. You just peel it away, cut out any bad parts, and there you have a potato that's really good to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and peel all these. We are going to boil these in some little water, and when they're done, we're going to mash them, and we're going to have ham and pineapples with mashed potatoes. All right, so my potatoes are all peeled, and they are on the stove cooking. So let's go out and I'll show you what I do with my potato peelings. What I did was I put my potato peelings in here. And so we will turn it a couple times and we're gonna set it like that. And this could stay like this now for a week. And then next week I'll go ahead and I'll turn it some more. So that's what I do with my potato peelings, all the other scraps my chickens eat. So I thought I'd take you out with me and show you just a little bit of things I do every single day. Why do I like making crock pot meals? Because today is a very busy day. I am canning lots and lots of pears. Kitchen, lots and lots of pears. And so I am in the middle of what I would call knee deep in canning. So that's why I love crock pot meals because the last thing I feel like doing is cooking on a day where in the kitchen it's 90 some degrees See the sweat? It's bad. And I have a lot of canning to do. So our crock pot meal is finished. I'm going to hand the camera down and show you. I'm going to mix up these plates ahead of time. That way when my husband gets home, there's a plate already made for him. And all we have to do is heat it up. Now I do not own a microwave. So what I do is I will put my plates in the oven on low for just maybe 15 minutes. And that's how I warm my food. So I'm going to show you what we made today. So I made mashed potatoes, but I just smashed them up by hand. I didn't, I didn't get the mixer out and all that. So we're going to put uh, some mashed potatoes on our plate. 
My daughter is here for lunch. And here's our crock pot ham. I think it's beautiful. Put a ham slice on. Get some pineapple. Now, you probably should have a vegetable as well, but we're going to have some fruit today to eat. So this is what I'm making for today's crock pot Wednesday on a very busy canning day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you give a crock pot recipe a try. This is just quick, something in the freezer, ham with pineapples and mashed potatoes. Now my daughter will probably eat some cheese on her mashed potatoes. If not, I'll just mix up a little bit of gravy. So take care everyone, I'll see you guys tomorrow.